Level 2 This is a continuation from Part 1. The flame that no one actually checks or worries about. Look at this monstrosity. Let's look at it. Why people are not worried about the flame we just saw. It's more than possible of the constructions involving. One, there have been reports of these types of pottery heaters cracking at the base and spilling out the paraffins and causing fires. So if you haven't guessed, Level two is to take the constructions of these flower pots and make them safe. How safe do you think I am? Look at that. Inside three aluminum pans. Of course, down here, we have to put a latch so it'll lock. But, like a miniature fireplace, that's pretty safe. Okay, I made this real cheap heater from alcohol. As you can see, I have a can inside of the can and we have some stuff that don't burn. Get from your garden, thing can't think of the moment, but we're going to light this and it is lit and it is safe and look at this. That is safety. We wanted to know four things and how far we can actually take these candle heaters to its maximum level and you will be surprised on how far we can actually take a candle heater chiefly because people don't understand exactly how candles work they just have a rough idea so with that we're about to take you on so many levels of candle heaters so to answer a question, what is this on top of a candle? Is it just for radiating heat? Of course, that's what it does. But that is not the actual purpose of which this is constructed. This is called a soot catcher. It is in its very basic design and it is also at level one. We are about to take it to level two and beyond. But the first technology for this hat being over a candle is to filter out soot so it doesn't hit your ceiling. And yes, Robert Murray Smith was correct. They do crack very easily. The technique you were about to see will not only cover this crack but also make all of these projects very safe it too has levels what we're about to do is make a heat resistant glue a heat resistant glue that can withstand 2000 degrees of heat 
Okay, I didn't start the camera when I did this, but basically I took this sooty candle and I put soot all over the crack that was in here and I'll show you a picture of it. And we're going to show you what we're going to do next with that. Okay, we're going to use this glue to go over the top of this soot. So basically all I'm going to do is where that crack was and mix that right in there. This is how we make heat treated surfaces. Now normally we just mix the carbon right into this, but you can do it this way too. And all you got to do is do layers of this. And then that'll dry. And then it will be a protective layer. And then uh, we'll do it again. And we place that right over the top up there and we can see the sit going right over the top of that. So we got that and then we put another layer right over the top of this of glue. And we just put that right over the crack and then we do it again. This is in another book of mine, and I'll put a picture up of that book so you can understand how we learn these processes. And then we just let that dry. And that's a repaired clay pot. And we just let, and this top layer will dry clear, but the carbon protects it. Uh, it's the same thing that happens in Starlight. So again, I'll show you a book cover of a book that we were writing about these augmented, am I saying that correctly? Uh, augmented recipes that we use from starlight all right the idea you just seen is being placed in this book that will be published at a later time this and many more recipes and ideas about flame protective recipes now we're going to use another one of these ideas by taking an adhesive or glue such as PV glue and mixing it with a carbon. Once you have enough of these glues you're going to pour it in between the aluminum pans to not only bind them together or help with that but keep fire and oil spills inside. Keep in mind that this idea is not to bind the aluminum pans together. We're going to use wire to do that job. But 
it will fireproof this layer right here inside the aluminum pans. We will continue with this thread in another video. But for now, we have an inexpensive way to make a heater and it will supply good amount of heat. Now let's talk about styling it up. We are at level two. We found this for $12 at Walmart in the candle section. Let's now put what we learned inside this. Let's find the center by drawing some lines and then punching a hole for the drill not to slip out. Next, we'll drill this hole through. And now we're ready for a bolt to hold the soot catcher. And now look at this, we're done. And the soot catcher is doing its job. Pretty simple, huh? So what happened? We should have used this size candles. So it went from this size flame to this. Is that a bad thing? No, it was a good thing. So why did we stop the experiment? As you will see, because the flame was too big and the hole for the soot catcher was too small. So we ended up with soot outside the canister we put in there to catch the soot. This is the reason why we stopped the experiment, as you will see. Okay, we're documenting that we have this, I would say, yellow flame, which is burning dirty. Um, we got the soot catcher at the top, which uh, a lot of that flame is going on there. We're waiting for to hear the putt-putt, which means that the fuel at the top is coming back down and it is reburning. So until that happens, that means that this has to reach temperature and you'll start to see slight blue in the flame. So that's what we're trying to catch her. So notice that what we see here, notice what we see up there and We'll come back and show what the effect is. Okay, I wanted to also document it, how much bigger that flame is. Um, that's because I put the aluminum pan back down at the bottom of it, which has holes in it. And it lets air into this. And it puts it close to the top. So... When you do that, as you see, the flame is licking the top of there. The uh, smoke that goes in there comes down just a little bit and you get a little flame. I don't see if you see little puffs of flame ever flew often it's right at the top of there. So let's see what else in there. We can see at the bottom, we got a light blue tint. So if we open this up, let me see. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to see the difference. Okay, so we're opening the door. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. Okay, now we're going to shut the door. slight difference and that's because that draft going up 
Let's see if we get a better angle here. Let's see if we can open the door. And then we're gonna shut the door. See how this goes right up? Okay. Like I said, we're going to see how well that does, how well it catches the soot. We're going to make it better, make the hole a little wider, but we're going to see if the glass gets black, all that kind of stuff, because I can see a little wear in there, and I'm going to see what color that is. I see I see a little discoloration right there, but um, we're going to see how well this does, and then we'll get back. Okay, can you hear that? And you can see that it is actually catching that smoke on fire, which we expected. Now it's getting too hot because the oil is now catching on fire. So we're going to stop it here. Okay, we have our level two. As you can see, it's a case. Uh, we're going to show a, a little closer view. But I just wanted to get this because that top in there is not secure. And I um, think it's going to come down. But we got it snapped on there pretty tight we're going to see but that is a soot catcher that's what that terracotta pot is for so we're going to see how well this works and then we're going to come back and show you what it actually looks like and i can feel the heat from here so it's doing a pretty good job of heating and um it's not like this the highest heat, but say something on very low, but I can feel the heat way out here. So that's good. And the flame does not seem to be going out and it is secure. Now, when we get our fan up here, where we got this blowing through these vents, which I will show a little bit later, but that's good for now. Right now we got the concept documented and the soot should not come to the brim okay as you can see this brim has soot around it we have to shut this off because the whole point of it is that it catches the soot and as you can see all that soot in there is not the soot in my in my air or on my ceiling okay so we purposely ran this candle dirty to make sure that this would catch the soot and it filled up pretty fast about an hour and then it started coming over the edges so we started to do a new and improved one and this is what we get and now we'll watch that and test that and you got to understand the history of a soot catcher and that is my word but there is technology behind this so you may have catched the other videos in the background where we were building our new types of heaters but we're just giving you a sneak peek of what level three will start to look at you know we always start from the cheapest to the more expensive and then we're going to get into style and then we're going to get into modernization of that style that means we want things automatic so the sneak peek is this if you see that you see that that is secure that it does have a lid here but we're going to make that lid better. 
and it has a heat exchanger and those things are not going anywhere so these are dollar store aluminum pans we're going to use those aluminum pans which comes from walmart which means that this is not so thin and then we're going to upgrade it from there so that'll be another level but first we're going to just show this construction of this at level three which is a lot of little parts and then we're going to even make this better and then put this in our fireplace after it's all said and done so stay tuned 